Today on Rappler. President Marcus Jr. urges ASEAN neighbors and allies to stand against the dangerous use of Coast Guard and militia vessels in the South China Sea. The Land Transportation Office revokes the license of the dismissed policemen in the viral road rage video in Quezon City. The Commission on Human Rights begins its probe into the abduction of two women environmental activists. Marikina representative Stella Kimbo urges PhilHealth to suspend the collection of premium contributions. China bans its government officials from using iPhones and other foreign-branded devices. Tim Cohn will take over coaching duties for Gilas Pilipinas in the upcoming Asian Games. And many celebrity couples call it quits in 2023. President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. urges the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and its allies to stand against the, quote, dangerous use of Coast Guard and maritime militia vessels in the South China Sea. At the 18th East Asia Summit attended by China Premier Li Chang, Marcos did not name the nation but was obviously referring to China, which had stepped up its aggression against the Philippines in the South China Sea. China claims most of the South China Sea, placing itself at odds with four members of ASEAN, Malaysia, Brunei, Vietnam, and the Philippines. The Chinese Coast Guard and Maritime Militia have repeatedly attempted to block Philippine Coast Guard vessels patrolling the West Philippine Sea. Marcos adds the Philippines continues to support freedom of navigation and a rules-based international order in the South China Sea. The Land Transportation Office says it revoked the driver's license of the dismissed policeman in the viral road rage video for two years. LTO Chief Assistant Secretary Vigor Mendoza II says this in an interview on Rappler Talk on Thursday, September 7. Mendoza explains the agency did not permanently revoke Wilfredo Gonzalez's license because permanent revocation is the punishment for incidents that cause death. After two years, Gonzalez can reapply with the LTO, but he will need to start from the very first step in securing his license. Gonzalez was slapped with a 90-day preventive suspension after his altercation with cyclist Alan Bandiola in August. The Commission on Human Rights dispatches a quick response team to look into the abduction of two women environmental activists, Jonila Castro and Jed Tamano. Castro and Tamano, aged 21 and 22, were preparing for relief operations and had recently been active against reclamation and coastal development projects when they were abducted last September 2 in Orion, Bataan. The CHR says the abduction shows the, quote, susceptibility of activists to enforced or involuntary disappearance. Castro's mother says the police refused to record the case on the blotter but instead bombarded them with questions about the activists. The CHR says it is important to find the young women as quickly as possible, as they are vulnerable to gender-based abuse. Economist and Marikina representative Stella Kimbo asked PhilHealth to strongly consider temporarily suspending the collection of premiums from its members. Citing PhilHealth data, she says the state health insurer earned 100 billion pesos in net income in 2022 and asks PhilHealth officials for proof that it can effectively spend funds. Kimbo adds, PhilHealth members are better off using their deducted contributions for private health maintenance organizations or HMOs. These offer better benefit packages than PhilHealth. PhilHealth President Emmanuel Ledesma Jr. did not categorically say that suspending premium contributions would be feasible. Kimbo then talks about PhilHealth's promise of better health packages in 1995, which it has failed to deliver. She asks Ledesma to submit a complete written explanation instead. China orders officials at central government agencies not to use Apple's iPhones and other foreign-branded devices for work or bring them into the office. The Wall Street Journal reports Wednesday, staff were given the instructions by their superiors in workplace chat groups or meetings. It was not clear how widely the orders were being distributed. The ban comes ahead of an Apple event next week, which will probably launch a new line of iPhones. Analysts say this can trigger concerns among foreign companies operating in China as Sino-U.S. tensions escalate. China is one of Apple's biggest markets and generates nearly a fifth of its revenue. The latest restriction by China mirrors similar bans in the United States against Chinese smartphone maker Huawei and short video platform TikTok, owned by China's ByteDance. With Chot Reyes's blessing, Tim Cohn takes over the national head coaching duties for a retooled Gilas Pilipinas squad led by Justin Brownlee in the 19th Asian Games starting September 23 in Huangzhou, China. 
The Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas and the PBA make the announcement on Thursday, September 7, noting that they're still trying to put together the final lineup. Brownlee, the naturalized player committed to play for the Asian Games since July, will be joined by June Marfajardo, Scotty Thompson, and Japheth Aguilar. Philam NBA star Jordan Clarkson will no longer be around for the Asian Games, as well as Dwight Ramos, Kai Soto, and Renz Abando, who will be playing for Japan and Korea leagues. Cohn led the country to a gold medal win in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games hosted by the Philippines. Many celebrity couples call it quits this year, making fans wonder if 2023 is a bad year for love. Pop star Taylor Swift and actor Joe Alwyn break up after seven years of dating, with a source saying the couple's relationship, quote, had just run its course. The most recent celebrity breakup to make waves globally was the split between Jonas Brothers singer Joe Jonas and Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner, who announced their divorce Wednesday, September 6. Position singer Ariana Grande separated from her ex-husband Dalton Gomez in July, ending their two-year marriage. Modern Family star Sofia Vergara and actor Joe Manganiello split this year shocked many, as there were, quote, no signs of marital issues. Other celebrity couples who called it quits this year include pop star Britney Spears and model Sam Asghari, and beauty mogul Kylie Jenner and rapper Travis Scott. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.